Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you are new. In today's video, I wanna show you guys what is on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, a few a couple weeks ago, I did an unboxing of my iPhone and I already actually filmed what's on my iPhone, but I thought that it was just way too long of a video and I wasn't fully done adding in other apps and stuff into my phone. So I decided that I'm just going to get rid of that video and refilm it here with you guys today. So let's go ahead and jump in and let's see what's on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. <laughs> I've been organizing this phone and I've had it for weeks now. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take off my phone case. Um, the phone that I got was, uh, they had a great deal going and that's why I purchased this phone because I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna pay $33 a month for this phone and I didn't wanna pay the cash price. Um, I didn't wanna lay out a thousand some dollars out of my bank account to buy this phone. And I didn't want to pay the hefty price for the phone carrier. When I found out that the phone carrier of my choosing, which was AT&T, I have been a very much a Verizon person because of their service. But AT&T has been getting better in my area. They still kind of suffer around the city with like um, data, but uh, everything else works fine. But AT&T had a great deal on this phone, and you can trade in a phone with them. And I trade in the iPhone 13 in pink. Sorry, there is, oh wow, must be a fire. There was an ambulance earlier, now it's a fire truck. Um, yes, but AT&T had a great deal. I hope everyone's okay. AT&T had a great deal where you can basically get a trade-in, and they offer great amounts of money for your phone. They gave us over $700 for our iPhone 13. Uh, of course, it was in perfect condition. But anyway, this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max in uh, natural titanium. This phone feels lighter than the iPhone 13 Pro Max and 14 Pro Max. It is lighter than any other like phone. It is so light. It feels like the um, aluminum one, the, like the iPhone 13 models um, being like aluminum. It just feels so good in the hand. Um, now the phone case that I purchased for this phone, which you guys probably seen in my unboxing if you watched it, is the silicon case from Apple in clay. I've always loved Apple's cases, but I hated spending $50 for their phone cases. And that's how much this case was, was $50. But I figured I'm buying a really nice phone. I'm going all out and I'm going to buy the case that I really like that would match this phone perfectly, which is this case here in the color clay. It matches the um, natural titanium just perfectly. And you put in the phone and you get this cool animation. Um, but it just matches it perfectly. Um, I am looking at buying some other cases that I like on Amazon. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy any more of these silicon cases from Apple. They do have one other color that I do like, which is called... Um, they have all, I like all the colors, but they have a, one color that I like. Let me find it here real quick. It is actually one of my favorite colors. Whoa. They have a new... Apple has a new MacBook Air. They said they were going to get a new iPad. It's a MacBook Air. It's out. MacBook M3 models. We're going to have to talk about that in another video or something, maybe. Whoa. Okay. Anyway, um, if, you, if you have the Apple Store app, you can find your exact phone and then find your colors. But here is the one. And I like the color. I don't even know they even made soft mint. That's so... They must have added new colors. They got full on pink now. No, what happened to the guava? That's the color that I wanted. Welp, you now got storm blue. That's the color that I liked, along with this orange sorbet, sorbet. Oh, there's the guava. Yeah, that's the color that I wanted was the guava. I thought it was really, really cool. 
Um, but I also like the black. They have a yellow now called Sunshine. That's pretty cool. That pink would look so good on the black phone. Oh, look at that. That's sharp. Anyway, so let's go ahead and dive into what's on my iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a slight zoom on in, and we're going to take a look at what's on my phone. So um, I have my action button. I know people are like, like, there was one guy on TikTok or YouTube shorts, I forget where. And he's like, anybody who has the iPhone 15 Pro Max and they have their action button as the silent button or is the most boring as person in the world. But <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I'm still recovering from a, a flu. But, um, <coughs> but, uh, they're like, that's the most boring thing. But I mean, you can go in here. I mean, what else is there to put it on? A focus mode? I just like toggle that in my settings or ask Siri. I don't really like it on there. The camera, I that's okay, but I don't know. I'm just not really a big fan. Flashlight, it's right there. I know the silence right there, but I'm just so used to like not having the action button that I don't really like to change it. So there's just like no point in anything else for me, I have mine as the, as silent. I just like it right there. Um, now on my first main screen, I have everything the way that Apple has laid it all out automatically. I changed, I think like this area up some, but here's how I have it organized. I'm not going to go in throughout each app and really like describe the name and all that either because it just takes way too much time. But I will go over the utilities folder. I have the compass, measure, magnifier, contacts, translate, files, and shortcuts, freeform, and tips. My bottom bar, I keep it the same that Apple gives you. Phone, Safari, messages, and music. I go for my Apple Music in the right bottom corner all the, all the time. Um, I go for my messages right there all the time. Safari there all the time. Phone there all the time. I just like it right there. I don't like anywhere else. If you guys want to follow me on Apple Music, you can get my different playlists um, and different things. Right there is my page. A Austin Bender 3 is my username. I'm currently listening to 16 Carriages a lot by Beyonce. Um, this whole album, Call of Heaven, Call on Heaven. Um, and it has some other things, but morally, I've been listening to my playlist called Downloaded and my new one called Bloom for Spring. I've also liked this new song, End of Beginning by D. Joe, D. D Joe and Lose Control by Teddy Swims. And even I think you should go by E.N. Dior. I like that one. This is like my new music right now. So anyway, um, then on my main screen here, I have a big weather widget because I am very a big person about weather. It fluctuates a lot. Um, and I just like to know the weather pretty much at all times. So I have a big weather widget and I can just tap on that real quick to open up the weather app. It's raining here today. It's supposed to clear off later and then be pretty much cloudy. Again, rainy tomorrow. A lot of rain, wonderful. Um, my first folder is finance. Um, I have Orstown Bank, which is my old bank. I still have an account there, but I moved over to my new main bank right there, um, which we'll get down to my favorites in a second. Um, um, I'm not going to describe every app, so I'll just let you guys take a quick look. I'll explain some. Healthy Benefits is a card from a healthcare provider for my grandfather for him to buy over-the-counter vitamins, medications, and supplements. Um, and I can check the balance in the app since he has trouble, you know, trying to figure out how to log into that. Um, Republic services is for our trash. Fetch is an online receipt scanning app. You can scan, um, Amazon receipts. You can do certain offers. You can scan paper receipts and you get points. Once you get so many points, you can cash them out for cash which I'm not sure how many exactly you need. You can also, I think, add friends, um, which I got to update my phone number to my new phone number. There we go. Rewards. 
you can, let's do an, like Amazon. Okay, so I'm eligible for a $5 gift card. When I get to 12,500 points, I'll get a $10 gift card. And then when I get to 55,000, I can get a $50 gift card. So I'm gonna try to go to probably $25 gift card. I don't know what else you can get. Um, you can get a red dono donation. Um, so many different things. You can donate all kinds of different things. Um, in, and then continuing is another bank account that I use. This can pretty much be deleted here. I'm going to go ahead and delete it now because we are getting rid of Xfinity totally. Um, this is actually for my grandfather's work for messages, paychecks, settlement sheets, all that stuff. So I can help him manage that as well. He is pretty good on that app. He knows how to use it. Mission Lane is a credit card. Car Care, you can link up all of your cars to your dashboard, which I have here, and then you can track your car. You can also get your, like for example, well-maintained badge. You can see all that stuff. When then you can go in there, let's say you wanna do, uh, say an oil change. You can um, go right here and click, you know, I did an oil change on my car. And since I do a lot of work on my own, on my own car, oil changes and stuff like that, etc. cetera, um, for my car, last oil change was a self-service. Actually, the, yeah, it was. Um, I quit going there. They wanted 80 some dollars to do an oil change on my car. I'm not paying $80 for an oil change. Um, so this, our new car, the Jeep, will be going to the dealer for the first one because it's free, but after that, we'll probably do it ourselves. Anyway, Cash App is, of course, Cash App. It's a, like a prepaid card. Credit Sesame is for your credit checking app. Ally is for car loan. Yeah, basically only car loans. Capital One is for my new credit card that I'm waiting on in the mail. Credit Acceptance is for financing and all the other stuff is listed there. Farmers is for farmers insurance, car insurance. Shopping, we have Amazon, Target, Lowe's, Sheets, FedEx, all that stuff. My favorite shopping app is probably Amazon. It used to be Target, but I'm kind of getting sick of my local Target with their, you know, closing down self-checkouts and different things. And I just don't feel like even shopping there anymore. I'm kind of disgusted with even going in that place anymore. It seems like just there's too many people in there. And on top of that, the self-checkouts just seem to never be open. And I like self-checkout. It's just so much easier than having to wait in a stupid line of tons of people so I'm kind of ir irritated about that. So I don't really plan on shopping there. As you can see, I don't have Walmart because I don't like Walmart because they are, you know, having their weird thing about their self-checkouts and all that because of theft. And now Target's going to be like Walmart. So soon, I guess I'll leave Target as well. Um, entertainment. <laughs> I have these apps here, which I'm sure you guys get what they are. Valium is a really cool wallpaper app. You can get tons of cool, high quality wallpapers. For example, that one's pretty cool. You do get ads, but not that many. Um, and then this is called My Q. I can open and close my garage door right from this app. Pretty easy, pretty quick. Morning, I can close or open my garage door with a click of a button. Um, T-Mobile is for our internet. There's those apps. I use Notion to organize my whole life. Streaming, streaming platforms. Hulu is definitely number one. I love Hulu. <coughs> <coughs> um, I have a lot of different shows that I'm watching. Right now, I am watching Hideous Houses. They take the most ugliest houses that they can find. Um, and they basically do, they have four days to do a $20,000 remodel and make these houses look like new. And they, it looks amazing. So anyway, you guys got to go see the transformation of the chicken pox house. It's called the chicken pox house. And even the grandma gets a room. Really, really good episodes. I love them. I've also been watching Naked and Afraid for months now. Million Dollar House Hunters. I've only watched one episode, but it's been pretty good. I watched the entire show of Castle. I watched pretty much the entire show of King of the Hill. I have 27 episodes left, and I've watched a lot of the first 48. And I have some other shows in here that I want to watch or watch a little bit of as well. So that's that. I've been getting more into like TV shows than movies. 
And then here's the last page. Govi Home connects to all of my thermometers throughout my house, so I can easily check the the different temperatures, which that's no longer my office. It's in the shed. So I don't know what, where I'm going to put that one now, but I'll put it somewhere. Um, maybe in the garage. That'll be a good place for it. But right there, my bedroom, for example, 64 degrees and all that stuff. So anyway, Facetune, all that jazz, which I use Facetune mostly for whitening up my background because their whiten tool works so well. And I also use it to, um, I want to take a picture of the front of my house. And then I used to use this cool like paint tool to like color my hair as like a fun little like thing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then I want to take it across the front of the house and like paint the house and see like what color would look the best. So we'll see. Wellness just has two apps. Journal and Apple Health. That's it. Um, if I get any other wellness apps, I'll put them in there. Games. I don't play many games on my phone. Um, I don't play many games anymore in general. But I do sometimes play the Piggy Go game. But the game that I play the most is Heyday, and today's Tuesday, so it's a Heyday type of game day. Yahtzee, I play once in a great while. Jelly Splash, once in a great while. Stack, once in a great while. The only games I'm really on, like, truly dedicated to is Heyday, and that's basically it. I don't play Roblox anymore. I don't play GTA anymore. I don't play Days Gone anymore. I just, I'm not a game person anymore. I'm more into reading, TV shows, TikToks, YouTube videos, and a lot of work. I get a, I have a lot of work, so I don't have a lot of free time anyway. Lifestyle, first app here is called Drio. This is basically my humidifier here in my room. It's set at 82, but it's not 82% humidified in my room. That's, that's way too much. It is probably like 60 some in here. I prefer my house, my room, a little bit more humidified just because it is easier to breathe. Um, and right now that I, you know I'm recovering from my illness, it's important that I can breathe better anyway and all that um, from this flu that I've had. So anyway, that's, that's that. You can control the whole thing, turn on the ambient light, the display. You can hear it beeping over there on my nightstand. Um, you can change the target how it run automatically. You can go on manual mode, have it run, you know, whatever. It sometimes has a glitch where it moves this and you got to turn it off, turn it back on, then it will stay. I think it's just the app though. It has a sleep mode that you can turn it on. So anyway, but, um, I have it on auto right now at 82 and that like is perfect for my room because it says 82, but it does, it's not a no 82 in here. And then cleaning reminder I already cleaned it um, earlier and then you can check the humidity level over the last you know here's the last 30 days all that stuff so cleaner kit is for the phone to like clean it inside or whatever clean like the stuff out of it I brought it over from my other phone that had like very low storage that I was using temporarily until I bought this phone um, and it works pretty good so I decided to bring it over here and then Active Armor is from AT&T. It's like a protective thing or something like that. I don't really know. I guess like something with like calls and then stuff, but yet now, I don't know. I got it, but I don't really know exactly how it works or what it really does, if anything. Miscellaneous is just some basic stuff. I don't really, I'm not really going to go into too much detail. I will say that this app called Avilet, <coughs> excuse me, is for my dash camera that's in the Jeep and it just lets us be able to connect to the dash cam to see what's going on in real moment, which I don't think it's on right now, but anyway, social media is all my social media platforms. Facebook is private only for friends. Pinterest is definitely for all of you guys. Come check out my Pinterest, please, please, please. There's my pin code, scan my pin code or look me up. I have my link down below also at the link tree. I have so many different pins for you guys, like different boards, screensavers, home and living, and there's also sections in them, like Christian items. We have Brighter Side Church, Christian screensavers, aesthetic Bible verses, you know, all these different things. So check out, definitely check out my Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I go there for all my wallpapers and so much more. So check it out. X, or known as Twitter, 
Um, I basically have been sharing a lot about The Walking Dead because the new show came out, The Walking Dead, um, The Ones Who Live. But um, you guys can follow me there. I usually will tweet. I was verified, but my verified logo left because I quit paying for Twitter Premium. That's $11 a month that I can save. Just um, the only reason I'm using it is for a stupid blue logo. So, um, yeah. No, thank you. Um, I pretty much left and do not plan to come back to Twitter Premium. It's $11 a month. That comes out to be over $120 a year. So, no thanks. Anyway, Snapchat. I do vlogs on my Snapchat public st public profile every single day. They are so in-depth. I post probably hundreds of snaps a day. If you guys want to follow me over there on there, you're more than welcome to. Um, my link is cglass2560, and you should be able to find my public profile, hopefully. I think you guys can. Instagram. I don't really use Instagram too much. I'm trying to get more back into it, but it's only underscore Austin. If you guys want to follow me over there. Um, let's see. What else do we got? TikTok. Yes, TikTok. I have been watching a lot of stuff, but I haven't been posting that much. But there's my TikTok. Austin Bender with two R's. And that's basically it. Down here, I have four apps that are my favorites. I like the Starbucks app to be right there. That way I can easily click a button to open the app and order coffee whenever I am leaving my house. I can put in my order and then whenever I'm at a red light, the one red light that I go to, I can click and then click on order and everything goes through and it orders my coffee. Um, then I have my bank, my new bank, which is m and Bank. I can use that app to check my whole entire account, savings account, checking account, all that. This is CFC. It's for my credit card that's in my wallet. For Tiva, another credit card that's in my wallet. I'll probably replace one of these two credit cards. Um, probably the for Tiva. I'll probably replace that with a Capital One app once I get my Capital One credit card in the mail that I'm waiting on. Then down here in the right bottom corner is just a calendar. Today's March 6th, March 5th. Then I turn the screen and I have three widgets. I have one big main widget and it is just um, appointments and things that are going on and events and it has the date, Tuesday the 5th. Um, and one easy click and I can get into my calendar and then go into my list view, all that stuff. Finance, I can go right into my Notion, right into my finance area and then humidifier click little button on the power button, I can turn on or off my humidifier and I can also click on it to get some real time information on it and check out what's going on with it. And that's it, that takes us to the app library. I have all my apps on my screen except these new three that I just downloaded, which are Picture Insect, Picture This, and Picture Bird. Picture This is for plants, Picture Insect is for insects, and Picture Bird is for, I guess, for birds. I never tried the bird one, but the Picture This I've in the Picture Insect I've been using for quite some time. It's really helpful to see what kind of uh, insects you see in your yard or what plants you have, like, I looked up our trees and it said that birds love this one tree and it's definitely correct because we've had birds in our yard for years all around that tree and I could learn more about what type of tree it was and all that and if I needed to water it or what I could do to help it grow, it's just really interesting and helpful. So that's about it, you guys. My phone's going back on silent because I just don't want bothered today. I'm in just that kind of mood. So that's it. That's what's on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I don't know if we talked about my wallpapers much, but here's my lock screen. Um, I'm a Christian, so I have, you know, the Bible verse right here. These different, you know, six, seven, and eight. And right here, this verse is Highland. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Um, you know, for as a believer, it's important for me to have that on my screen. Some of you may not, you know, maybe you're not a believer, so that may not be important to you, and that's totally okay. And then down here, this is my home screen. Just some beautiful flowers that are rising up and a beautiful sky, perfect for spring. So, okay, well, thank you guys for watching today, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.